Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at copying appearances from one object to another in Illustrator. But before we begin, let me introduce you to my Illustrator courses at Udemy and Skillshare. In the description below are coupons for all of my courses on Udemy and a coupon for Skillshare. Now these coupons are at least as good as anything that either Udemy or Skillshare can offer to you. Please feel free to share these coupons with family and friends. So let's switch back here to Illustrator and let's have a look at the process of taking a appearance, for example, the appearance that I have on this circle here and applying it to these other shapes. Well, one of the methods is to use the eyedropper tool and this one works a little differently to the others because with this one, you want to select the target rather than the source. This is the source of the appearance that we want and this is the target. So I'm selecting the target. I'll click here on the eyedropper tool and I'll click once on the shape that has the appearance I want to apply. Now what gets copied when you use the eyedropper tool will depend on your preferences. So let's double click the eyedropper tool and open up here appearance and you can see that you can select the appearances that are selected or picked up by the eyedropper tool and you can select here those which are pasted down or applied by the eyedropper tool. I have everything selected here and so the result is that these two objects have the exact same appearance. Now other methods require you to select the source. So let's go and select the source object here. I'll go to the appearance panel. Now there's a thumbnail up here in the top of the appearance panel. If you don't see it, go to the flyout menu and choose show thumbnail. You can see I've got hide thumbnail available here because my thumbnail is actually visible. So you want this to be up here. And what you can do is just drag and drop it onto a shape. So I'm just dragging and dropping it onto the shape that I want to apply this appearance to. Now it's also possible to do it from the layers palette. So let's open up the layers palette here. Let's just go and make everything nice and big so we can see it. I'll select the object that has the appearance that I want to apply and I'm going to apply it to the star over here. Well, you'll see that there is a little icon here indicating that this shape is targeted. It has an appearance. That's why it's got that sort of fill middle in it. So what I'll do is just grab this, hold down the Alt or Option key on a Mac and just drag and drop it onto the star. So when I drag and drop it in the layers palette onto the star, then the star gets the appearance applied to it too. So there are a number of methods that you can use. Pick the one that makes the best sense to you, practice using it and you'll never have any issues about copying appearances from one object to another in Illustrator. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.